Well, this morning, Ivanka Trump is set to take the stand in the New York civil trial against the Trump family business and her father, who gave combative testimony on Monday. She'll face questions about the family's business practices and a case that could determine the fate of Donald Trump's business empire. Scott McFarlane is outside the courthouse here in New York. Scott, good morning. And Marie, good morning to you. Ivanka Trump has kept a low profile ever since her father lost his re-election run in 2020, but she'll be beneath a bright spotlight here today. The fourth of four Trump family members to take the stand and answer allegations of widespread fraud by Trump businesses. Part of this quarter of a billion dollar civil trial in which the Trump businesses are accused of inflating property values and defrauding banks and insurers in the process. Unlike her brothers and her father, Ivanka is not a defendant in this case. Her case was dismissed in June due to the age of the allegations that were outside the statute of limitations. But she fought efforts to get her to testify here today. And she lost, so she's expected to face questions about the value of her New York City apartment and two of the businesses over which she had oversight. Trump's Miami golf course and his former Washington, D.C. hotel. And she will be questioned by the same New York State Attorney General prosecutors and sit before the same judge her father did earlier this week. A judge who, you'll remember, Anne-Marie, chastised her father for giving rambling, contentious answers. Yeah, those certainly were some fireworks there. You know, we know that the uh, A.G. James is, is hoping to fine the com company based on uh, losses, but also, you know, the implications are that she, that the Trump family may not be able to do business in New York. But I'm wondering if Ivanka's not really part of this; she's just essentially a witness. Um, does that mean that? If the AG gets her way and uh, Trump Inc. cannot function here in New York, Ivanka may still be able to do business here. Well, it's, it's really a matter of scope and size, isn't it? How big will the damages be? Because the judge has already determined there was evidence of fraud. Can Ivanka Trump give some sense of the scope and size of what happened mm. in this alleged fraud? But. Yeah, the businesses are in jeopardy, but so too is Trump's brand and his name. You can tell by the visceral way he conducted his testimony here earlier this week. He is emotively connected to these New York businesses, and he is already responding on Truth Social, his displeasure that his daughter is now answering questions about it. Um, well, I guess I'm going to have to text Truth Social. Jeez, I was trying to stay away. Uh, Scott, thank you very much.